the demilitarized zone on the border between the Western Frontier and the Tundran Territory. For months now, the site of an uneasy truce between two mighty armies. This is a waiting game, with both sides primed to retaliate in the event of a preemptive strike. But on this historic day, control of the Tundran Empire passes from the iron grip of Tsar Gorgi into the more progressive hands of his son and heir, Marshal Nova. And with Nova in charge, there are those who dare to whisper that this time, peace might just endure. Sport, gentlemen. Sack that defensive line. Go, go, go! <laughs> now line up! Our boys are getting mighty twitchy down there. We got the men, we got the playbook. Where's the Tonsley? The world is changing, Herman. Looks like this truce could last a long, long time. What? You gotta be pulling my pin! But if we have to fight, then fight we shall. In the meantime, the men are getting out of shape. How about we organize a little sortie to perk up their spirits? A field exercise? Hmm. With live ammo, of course. Betty, I like the way you think. Come in, Commander. This is Brigadier Betty speaking. Frontier Command has chosen you to carry out a recon mission along our border with the Tundran Territories. It's been a while since your battalion saw combat, so I'm going to be putting you through your paces before you head out on patrol. Welcome to the 4th Gridiron Obstacle Course. Head for the Gold Star, Commander. This seems pretty familiar. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome to Battalion Wars Revisited. It's been quite a while since we've been back in the boots of the frontier, and honestly, I've been missing uh, going back through this game in a proper LP. Yeah, we did have a couple of live streams for it, but still, uh, do replaying this game for the a main LP series, honestly, it makes me feel very nostalgic. But there's something special I want to do about this, because way back in the day when I first did the LP of this game, there were just a lot of things that I kind of got wrong, kind of didn't age well, as well as kind of didn't sound good. But for this, I actually want to do like a proper, uh, like retrospective of the series. I'll go more into it as we continue on through the series, but just know that there's going to be a lot more going on to this game than uh, just, you know, playing through the game in general. So, here we have our standard rifle grunt. He's, he's the greatest of boys. He's one of my all-time favorite characters in this entire series. He's pretty basic, only good against other infantry units, and even then some other infantry outpace him in terms of damage. Press on the R button, we can look around here, look up to where the watchtower guard is. I always wanted to get some more use out of these watchtowers, but they're only for, like, set pieces. Check out the radar in the top left corner of your screen. The flashing <coughs> gold star is your objective marker. Always keep an eye out for the gold star, but also keep an eye out for any silver stars you might see because bonus objectives are actually really useful to help uh, make your missions go a lot better. Also affect your score at the very end of the mission. Wait a minute! What's this Joker doing in Frontier Territory? He must be a Tundra spy! Not on my Back watch! Him. All right. He's just right around this corner. All we gotta do is jump out and ho ya! Whoa! Looks like the spy is setting up listening posts on our turf! Destroy them! Obviously, Betty, it looks like he turned himself into the listening post. Otherwise, why would it just be sitting here? And where could he have gone? I, I guess maybe he ran through that hole Destroy over there, but the I like my theory posts. of the fact that he Look turned himself into a listening post. On your radar. He's just that good a, as a spy. Oops, speaking of listening posts. A couple more back here. Better destroy these eyes in the sky before they can report back to Tundran High Command. Man, what is Frontier Command doing letting these things just get so close to one of our bases and getting this deep in a frontier territory? Standing. That'll take the air out of the Tundran intelligence program. I mean, if you say so. 
kind of flimsy. Yeah, I know they're balloons, but still, it's kind of flimsy that you think they would send something like that to recon uh, frontier positions. But they were pretty quiet, and it was just really bad timing on them that they decided to hightail it back to Where Tundra. Go? This is one slippery customer. Move out, Commander, and keep your eyes peeled. All right. Well, I see another listening post right over here, so let's just go ahead and break that. More listening posts than spy balloons. Frontier Command isn't gonna like this. Go ahead and destroy them all. Yes, ma'am. Give me just a second. Need to line up my shot just right. You lose. And there it goes. Apparently, the the spy balloons don't uh, seem to be like manned aircraft, and they look more like drones or something because. You would think that when we shoot one down, we'd see the pilot go flying out of it and hit the ground and die, but no, it's just machinery that we see. Let's hustle, Commander. That spy can't Which is kind of far. funny when you think about it, seeing as how Tundra is technically the most uh, technologically inferior out of all the nations, yet apparently they have drone technology. Boys. Go see if he's okay. Darn it, he's a gunner. That spy is gonna pay for this. How dare he. How dare he kill one of the boys? Oh, I'm going to take great pleasure in taking him out. There he the is. Gold star and form up with the boys from Alpha Company. Just ran right past you guys, huh? Wake up, Alpha Company. We got a tundra spy to catch. Hey guys, These stop telling stories around the campfire. You literally let a spy run See right the past you. Arrow icon above their heads. Press the X button once more to tell your men to wait in sentry mode. Uh, one of the hardest parts about LP in a Battalion Wars game, your CEOs never shut up, especially at the very beginning because they got to mode. tutorialize everything. What did you just say? Hmm, alright. See the head to the next gold star marked on your radar. Alright, come on, We're boys. Getting reports of a tundra camp in the area. Well, 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 look what we have here. Alright, boys, you go after that guy. This one's all mine. When your men have destroyed their target, they will automatically return to follow mode. Come on, guys. Seriously, you let him get away like that? I actually want to see if they can handle this. Free those prisoners, wow, you Amanda. actually managed to do it. Target the big ammo dump. All right. Explosion to be enough to destroy the barbed wire. We'll just take a position right here, Good and now we claim commander. ownership of these empty unit. ruins. We'll catch up to that spy in no time. I feel like this would be a better location for a camp than wherever you Lock guys are camping out at. Unit and use the Z button to jump behind the weak. Well it's done. Easy, now keep moving. We have a spy to catch. All right, let's get going. Up and over, folks. Smash through the barbed wire, commander. What the? That's a Tundran Armored Division down there. Looks like we've stumbled onto something big. Well, it looks like they're Prepare retreating. yourselves for defeat, decadent frontier cowboys. Zargorgi, your presence here is a clear breach of the terms of the ceasefire. What do you think you're doing? Making war, Brigadier Betty. Isn't this what Frontier Command has been waiting for? But I thought Marshal Nova wanted peace! I think the assembled might of my personal army speaks for the Marshal's intentions, Brigadier. Well, this isn't good. But, hey! We got an A rank at least. Now to go over how the ranking system works in this series. If you never watched the original LP or never watched any of the streams of it, ranking is based off of three things. Speed, technique, and power. Speed is based off how fast you ha can beat the level. To reach 100%, I'll always post up in the corner of the, the speed requirement to uh, hit 100%. Technique is how well your battalion is by the end of the level. 100% usually means that you've suffered one, maybe two casualties, but for the most part, it's zero casualties throughout the entire level. Power, on the other hand, is how many enemy casualties you have gotten. 
and the more enemies you take out, the more points should be going into that. And usually 100% is like if you leave like maybe like one or two enemies alive uh, for this prologue mission, we've been able to take out everything, including the listening post and the uh, spy balloons along with the little Tundra and squad at the POW camp. So hey, we got 100% in that. Could have done a little bit better with speed, but I just took the time to explain some things. So when we get more into the nitty gritty of these battles, we're definitely going to be seeing a bigger boost in speed. Maybe. Possibly. Unless I have really bad luck. In which case, yeah, the speed's going to be the one that's probably going to be suffering the most. Another thing in this game is unit dossiers. It's only when you first discover a unit in this game, and that was actually something fixed in the sequel to this. However, it's a nice little thing to know. You get a little rundown of what each unit is. Uh, you, here we have our Frontier Rifle Grunt, armed with the M17 Fully Automatic Assault Rifle. His role is Long Range Anti-Infantry, and in some cases also Anti-Vehicle. <clears throat> Grunts have the longest range of any infantry unit, which can make their deployment decisive in any open battlefield. Although weaker than veterans, it's in sufficient numbers, they are very useful shock troops. And also because we only got one, like, very minor use of it, but it was still introduced in this level, the Light Recon. It has a crew of two, speed rating of five, only one weapon, although sometimes two, and an armor rating of one. Its role is high speed reconnaissance and light anti-infantry. Speed and maneuverability makes the MX-500 ideal for its role as the roving eyes of the Western Frontier Army. With no armor and just one rear-mounted HMG on the base model, this unit should avoid entanglement whenever possible. Unless Frontier Command actually decides to get in their heads to maybe put a forward armament on this, but that's just insane. But alright, that is going to do it for today. Next time on Battalion Wars, we're going to head behind enemy lines to take the fight to Tundra and defend our homeland against these aggressors. See you guys next time. Later.